This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at formal charge. Formal charge is used to determine which Lewis structure is preferred when more than one is possible. The formal charge is the charge an atom would have if all the atoms in a molecule had the same electronegativity. The preferred Lewis structure is the one where the individual atoms have a formal charge that is closest to zero. The formal charge of an atom in a compound is calculated using the following equation. So it's the number of valence electrons in the atom minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus half the number of bonding electrons. So the formal charge is equal to V, that's the number of valence electrons, minus N, that's the number of non-bonding electrons, minus half B, that's half the number of bonding electrons. So next we look at an example. Three possible Lewis structures for sulfur dioxide, SO2, are shown below. In two of the possible Lewis structures, we have one single bond and one double bond. In the third Lewis structure, we have two double bonds. So next, we'll determine the formal charge on each atom. So starting with the Lewis structure on the left, this oxygen atom has six valence electrons, minus six non-bonding electrons, minus half the number of bonding electrons, which is one, which gives us a formal charge of negative one. For the sulfur atom, we have six valence electrons, minus two non-bonding electrons, minus half of six bonding electrons, which gives us a formal charge of plus one. And for the oxygen atom on the right, we have six minus four, minus half of four, which is two, which gives us a formal charge of zero. Note that for a neutral compound, the sum of the formal charges must equal zero. For the Lewis structure in the middle, we get a formal charge of zero for this oxygen atom, plus one for the sulfur atom, and negative one for this oxygen atom. Next, we look at the Lewis structure on the right. So for this oxygen atom, we have six valence electrons, minus four non-bonding electrons, minus half of four, which is two, which gives us a formal charge of zero. For the sulfur atom, we have six minus two, minus half of eight, which is four, which gives us a formal charge of zero. And for the oxygen atom on the right, we also get a formal charge of zero. As we saw earlier, the preferred Lewis structure is the one where the individual atoms have a formal charge closest to zero. Therefore, the structure on the right is the preferred one. In our next example, we have two possible Lewis structures for N2O, which is dinitrogen monoxide. The Lewis structure on the left has one triple bond and one single bond. The Lewis structure on the right has two double bonds. So if we start with the Lewis structure on the left, this nitrogen atom has five valence electrons, minus two non-bonding electrons, minus half of six, which is three, which gives us a formal charge of zero. The middle nitrogen atom has five valence electrons, minus half of eight, which is four, which gives us a formal charge of plus one. And for this oxygen atom, we have six valence electrons, minus six non-bonding electrons, minus half of two, which is one, which gives us a formal charge of negative one. So next, we look at the Lewis structure on the right. This nitrogen atom has five valence electrons, minus four non-bonding electrons, minus half of four, which is two, which gives us a formal charge of negative one. The nitrogen atom in the middle has five valence electrons, minus half of eight, which is four, which gives us a formal charge of plus one. And this oxygen atom has six valence electrons, minus four non-bonding electrons, minus half of four, which is two, which gives us a formal charge of zero. So which Lewis structure is the preferred one? In the Lewis structure on the left, the negative formal charge is on the oxygen atom. In the Lewis structure on the right, the negative formal charge is on the nitrogen atom. The structure on the left has the negative formal charge on the more electronegative atom, which is oxygen. Therefore, it is the preferred Lewis structure. So when you have two Lewis structures like this, the preferred one has the negative charge on the more electronegative atom, which in this case is oxygen. In our last example, we look at the nitrate ion. So three possible Lewis structures for the nitrate ion are shown below. So starting with the nitrogen atom, we have five valence electrons, 
minus half of 8 which is 4 which gives us a formal charge of plus 1. For the oxygen atom with a double bond we have 6 valence electrons minus 4 non-bonding electrons minus half of 4 which is 2 which gives us a formal charge of 0. And for the two oxygens with single bonds we have 6 minus 6 minus half of 2 which is 1 which gives us a formal charge of negative 1 on both oxygens. If we look at the other two Lewis structures we can see that the formal charges are the same. So for ions the sum of the formal charges must be equal to the overall charge on the ion. The overall charge on the nitrate ion is 1 negative and the sum of the formal charges is the same. 